This is the main event of the evening in the men's super heavyweight division. And it's for the title at East versus West. Let's introduce now our athletes, the first of whom hails from the great arm wrestling nation of Georgia. He is a multiple Georgia national champion, multiple EAF European champion. And also, this man is a multiple WAF champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Gennady Kvitvinia! Gennady Kvitvinia looking absolutely huge. This dude has doubled in size. I feel like since the last time I've seen him. He's been wanting this match with Devin Harris for a long time. 38 years old, 6'1", 308 pounds. 20-inch biceps and 18-inch forearms. The guy is absolutely massive. If you've been following him and the lifts he's been doing, it's been wild road. Couldn't get very busy. And now let's welcome his opponent to the arm wrestling table. This man needs no introduction anywhere in the world of arm wrestling. And he is the most internationally recognized arm wrestler active in the sport today. His accolades, an impressive list. The former BAL world champion. The reigning Arm Wars world champion. The former double hammer holder in the World Arm Wrestling League. He is also the reigning and defending East versus West champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, stepping back into the men's super heavyweight division representing Canada, the soldier boy Superman from the frozen north. Welcome him now to the stage, no limits, Stephen No doubt, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from Neil Pickup. No introduction needed, batteries included, no assembly required. Ladies and gentlemen, the best, the most recognizable arm wrestler in the world is on the main stage at 48 years old and weighing in at a whopping 275 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise, get on your feet. And let's show some love to Devin No Limits Larrett. Okay, good. He said he's good. Perfect. Okay. Oh boy. We're already doing this. Yeah. Already getting into the mind games here. We see Devin and Gennady jockeying for position. It's going to be a wild ride on the, the grip that these guys are going to agree to, which I don't think there's going to be any agreement. You know that. Guys, I got Neil Pickup heading to the booth. I'm going to be handing over the microphone to him. It has been a shoulders, pleasure uh, commentating for you guys. Knuckle. My Have knuckle. a good one. My knuckle. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, the key to the match. The time has started. How long, how many starts will it take before the inevitable happens? And what we all feel that Devin Larratt has more endurance than any other arm wrestler okay, on the stop. planet. How intelligent already this man a great attitude here when it comes to just relaxing and waiting for that set grip. We are gonna yes. see exactly how poised, Elbow down. how in command of his self is Gennady. Can you make sure that these matches don't last? 25, 35 seconds, making sure that there's not 10, 11, 12 ready goes before the end. I'm pretty sure if I know Devin Lair, he will pick up his first false start right now. Here goes the information. Way early, way early, way early. Yeah, go early every time. Every time go early. False start. Climbing, climbing. climbing. We're listening. The morning games will start. The verbal assault will start. Devin Larratt said in the press conference yesterday that he felt 
Knuckles, my knuckles. Okay, I will fix it straight. No, my knuckles. This may be his most dangerous you, you opponent. Don't, very don't focused, say, very so calm. Don't, don't move your shoulder. Knuckles, my knuckles. He's looking for the wrist. Centre, of Gandhi Centre. Oh, centre. And you can already hear. Centre, centre. Quick thing, you're not happy okay with the setup. Okay now. Five minutes in, already one ready go, and no fouls given. Just one time. Down, 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 this is all in favor of Devin Laird. Now we've had two ready goes. One morning, We're yeah. now One at the morning. seven oh, and a half got minute the red room, Yeah, no yeah. On the board. This yes. is exactly as planned by one Devin No Limits Laird. This way, this way. Very much like yourself, Travis. Devin knows how to play and is willing to play every conceivable weapon in his arsenal when he reaches the arm wrestling table and you can see him going through the gears, watch his eyes, Down, taking in yes. the information. Let's listen in. Very important to get what you need in the strap and both these men are very aware of that. This will tell us a lot now, Trav, because for the first time, open, open the referee's grip. No, don't, don't touch. Don't touch. As we go into the referee's grip, elbow, 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 elbow. He left first. Elbow. He left first. Elbow. He left okay, first. Hey, this, this, this strap is grip. set open. on the Canadian oh, perfectly. Right now, you can don't see. Don't pull my arm down like that. Don't pull my riser down, Devin, okay, in just, order to. Don't pull my riser down and leave him. Every don't pull my riser down. We're seeing the banner, the talking, the moving of the elbows. We are ten minutes into this match. It's got to be tight. Oh, elbow down, elbow down. Zero fouls down. given. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. At this pace, we will be here until July 4th to shoulder. see shoulder. when this don't match move. is over. Knuckles. My yeah. knuckle. My knuckle. I close. My close. close. Oh, go the hands. Oh. Oh. On Devon, I believe. One warning. Warning on Devon. Don't close before mine. He dropped the shoulder. He closed early. And climbed again. Yes, that strap is even okay. more yes. amazingly oh, compromised. Go. Oh, Just look go. at the oh, grip of Devon yeah. Laird. They must redo the strapper. Gennady is at warning. a tremendous Elbow. disadvantage. Tighter strap. Tighter strap. Yeah, a little bit. Elbow down. No, normal. Shoulder. Don't move. Just watch his elbow. Just watch his elbow. Gennady, don't move your shoulder. Just Center. watch his elbow. Center. He will show me. Thumbs down. Working every angle First now. up. We will go down, see. Go down, go down, don't the climb. Power go down. No, 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 no. Will the wrist and Say go! From Gennady. Say go! Yeah! On the yeah, man! Go! And Devin Lara has everything, oh, oh. had everything oh, in the oh. setup. He's taking it away. Yeah, and the pressure goes on now into the hand and yes, wrist of Gennady. Yes. Gennady is on the receiver. You are my dog! Although he works, there's no where to go, Trav, and look at this, baiting and waiting from Devon Laren. Absolutely the worst case scenario in the world. The Devon Laird that I know can pull here for the rest of his life with different yeah. opponents and not lose. There is yeah. literally Quit, nothing Gennady. that Gennady Quit. can do from there. Every Quit. is closed Quit. down. Quit. And he Quit, will wait Gennady. there. He will yes. wait for Gennady to give yes, up. Yes, Gennady. Opana! Shouts the open. If Gennady quit being your small, he will a lot of pressure. Opana! Oh, come on! Oh, it was not out! It was not out! It was not out! This is even more beautiful, Neil. Now we are 13 and a half minutes in. Three starts, and look at the score, ladies and gentlemen. There's not one there, finally. The light opens up, and Devin Laird finally receives his first foul. I am not the smartest guy in the world, but I am telling you now, I will bet anything in the world that this match, Neil, is already over. What I can tell you is that Gennady Quick Vigna 
needs the arm on the A side and he needs to be connected arm on arm to win this match. Just get your hand off mine. Let's listen in. Okay, I closed Gennady first. Stop pulling my riser down. Unbelievable position on that. And there's the connection. And it's a match on elbow foul by the look of things there. There was no foul the first time. Vinya, he forced and drove forward towards the pad, drove the elbow of Devon Larratt clean off the back, and it's the first pin to Georgia. A lot of confidence from Devon stopped the attack. He thought he was completely in control. What an outstanding drive from Gennady. Check out the replay. Devon posted in there, the elbow right here, clearly off the back. I think what we'll see, as soon as Devin sets up that wall there, this match, I still believe, is in Devin Larratt's favor. Just that Tiny press there lets baby. you know that we could be there. We could be there as the match continues, and Gennady's press is beastly. As I said in the setup to that match, he needs to get A-side, and he needs to Let's get arm Gennady. on arm. He cannot hang out and allow his wrist and hand to be compromised. This is all about the arm for Gennady Quickvania. You saw how furious Devon was with that, but no doubt, no question about that elbow foul, clearly off the back, and that's gonna fire up. The great thing for the viewers at home, that is gonna fire up both men. And I'll tell you what, a confident Gennady Quickvania is a very, very dangerous opponent, and Devon Larratt will be well aware of that. Well aware of it. Let's listen in, see what we can hear on the setup. Center this way, here. Look, look, watch, watch the center is here. Come on. I tell you what I hear, Neil. Shoulder. Somebody is breathing Elbow. hard up there. I'm going to be honest with you, Travis. Shoulder. I did look over my shoulder to see if I could spot Michael Todd. He is not here. And center. we continue with the match. Just give the center. Right now. We we'll love you, Mike. Give the center. Right now. Devin Lara, Gennady Quickvinia, the score, please. one zero in favor of the man from Georgia. Your wrist. Your wrist. Remember, just say it. That hourglass just say go, man. has been flipped. There is just a certain amount of sand in that hourglass that allows Gennady to continue to fight at the pace that we know Devin is going to push. Yes. We're 20 minutes into the championship match, the main event card. We have had five ready goes with one win. Okay, don't pull my arm down. In Gennady's favor. And in my opinion, down, a super overconfident Devin Larry started that last shoulder. match. We're going to see a more aggressive no, human being. Little bit more. Straight most shoulder. likely, shoulder, another long don't move your shoulders. match with Devin Center going a lot of talking. It's way this way. you got to pull to the left. To the left. Cent center. Okay. Here. Yes. Left and this way. Okay. Shoulder. Do not move your shoulder. Get straight your shoulder. Well, okay. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. I close Gennady first. Listen in. Ready. No. No. Oh, come on. Come on. Look for now. Come on. Horrible foul, Larratt called. Jody Larratt furious there, talking about the elbow. But I think it was a foul to Devon, driven off the side of the pad from what I could see. We'll probably get a replay, but it looks clear. There it is, yeah. Shoulder. Yes, shoulders. Take your shoulders. Shoulders. Get a shoulder. That's Comes two down. ready I goes go inside with that flopless press and Gennady really looking strong. Wrist, 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 because the wrist and hand please, sacrifice please, allows Devon to go to work. Please, but in order to do wrist. so, no, Devon no, does open. need to connect arm and to keep look hold center. Close the hands, look say go. You have, you He's have, just as bad. It's always on this side. He's always pushing on this side. Let's go. Let's go. Just don't move your shoulder. Okay? Straight your shoulder. You can see how fine it is. Shoulder. Not Gennady, sure, Neil, shoulder. if there was a warning given to Devin right there. I think he but got a foul I, Well, one he got the fingers. foul for the Finger elbow wrist. coming off the mm -hmm. back there. So now, with Thumbs one up. foul, if there was a warning given there, Devin has to be really careful at the start. Couldn't spot whether or not that was the case. Be ready. Hey! And the way we go, post it hard, Devin. Oh, you're dead. You're dead, Gennady. As Come we back. said earlier. He's dead. 
It's only a matter of time. The damage was done in the hand and wrist of Gennady Kvitvini. And now Devon going to it's work finished. with the mind games there. You Come can on. hear. It's finished. Okay. Put down the but as much as it yeah, pains me, I agree with <laughs> Devin Laird here. It's only a matter of time. Oh, yeah? I yes. can see clearly there is one lane for Gennady, and Devin knows exactly what that is. It is only, like he said, a matter of time before the Canadian restores the confidence and name of North American arm wrestling here tonight. Because, Neil, it has been a tough day to be from the good old USA. Not the best of results Perfect. for Team West tonight. But this is the one that mattered for many people. There have been some spectacular Open. Open. matches tonight. Yes. The biggest danger for... Devon here is, I feel Devin like Gennady's going to try and knock him off the side of the pad by the any means necessary. And Devon needs to maintain yes. the height in the centre. Just throw your hands and, and say go! Close, close! Straight your shoulder! Say go! Straight your shoulder first! Shoulder, say go! The temperature is rising here, ladies and gentlemen. Be ready. Down come the hands. And the way we go! Devon Wyatt hits the inside! Gennady Quigvenia stops the goal for the press! But no chance in there, and Devon Larratt has met him centre table test. Your frame, we are deep, deep inside. Larratt meets it, dead centre. Starts to drive forward and try to apply the tricep, and now tries the can open. Putting the pressure into the hand and wrist, a little bit of height gain. Will go forward from there, but look at Quick Vigna. He's trying to hang it up, trying to maintain that position, talking to the ref now, but the bleed is going in hard. It's over, and Devon Larratt just did massive damage to the arm of the Georgian trap. Stop, listen, check your clocks. 26 minutes in, down one to nothing. Now the tide has turned. We see a win in the category of the Canadian. And if anything, unless something has changed with the amount of endurance that we know that he possesses, this is pretty much a formality here the next couple matches. However, what a beast Gennady showed in having his hand and wrist exposed. And then once they went into that hook, it got 50-50 even quick. We can only assume that the time is in Devin Laird's favor. Well, let's be honest, Trav. We were, we were watching a dramatic match earlier tonight with the White Hawk, Paul Lynn, and Sasha Andreev. And we said there, at this point in time, you don't really see a route back for Sasha because on, of the fact that he doesn't have the versatility. On, now, the funny thing is here with Devin Larratt, he does have the versatility, he does have on, the endurance. And he is more than yes, happy Harry, and clearly more than capable to make this match about arms. It doesn't need to be about open top rolls. It doesn't need to be about high king's Stand move or up. any of the above. That was arm on arm, and he outlasted Gary Quickvenia. We know that this guy can go and go. Very, very dark times right now for the Georgia. Yes! Looking at that replay, Neil, Gennady had a little bit of a story there about Devin touching his hand with that shoulder. The referee smart to employ some common sense there and realize Gennady was pushing that movement as much or even more at the end. But wow, with one foul, if there's a hiccup right there and that foul is called, you could see 2-0 with Gennady right now. What an absolutely impressive showing from both of these amazing athletes. Here we go. The hands carved down on a much more relaxed Devon Larratt. The reason for that is because he feels like he's got an arm at least equal to Gennady Quick Do not play King Press. Little false start. And even if it was, Devon Larratt was relaxed. He was easily equal to that, and he looks like he's moving into that cruise control environment, Trav. No doubt, you can see the only technique being employed by Gennady, and you can tell he's looking for some way to get his wrist underneath the wrist of Devon and push through. That has resulted in Devon's posture getting way better. You saw early in match one, the, the shoulder from Devon Laird leaving the table, trying to run away. Now that he 
he has the hand and wrist compromise. Now the posture is much more tall, much more direct. Don't be surprised after this round to see Devin 100% coming forward, kind of like he did against Jerry Cataret. He's already positioning himself for that now. And looking for this to be about arms again. And you can already see Gennady not happy there and remonstrating with Christo Della Jakov. And Alexander, not happy, takes a walk away. This guy's got massive experience, but... <laughs> Devin, don't pull me down. Old truck Just don't pull line me as down. the hands come down. No, 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 don't pull me down. I'm on, I'm on the level. level. Straight your shoulder now. Don't pull the center. Shoulder, Gennady, straight. Straight your shoulder. Listen and see if we can shoulder, Gennady. Don't pull your shoulder. Here. Shoulder. Straight, straight. Straight more. Shoulder back. Shoulder back. Don't move your shoulder. Open. And from the hands, be sure. ready. We're going sure. to the ref's grip. Okay, comes down. I close Gennady first. Wrist and wrist. Be ready. Ready, go! On the way go! Deep press finish. Game over. Game it's over. Tight. It's One so thing's tight. for sure, hey. once you come into Look press up. and you're going to leave you're that hand around, you are you're needing and hoping up. that that yeah. shoulder is back far enough. And now, Devin, running over to Levon to more or less tell him, you see what you did to me, big man? That's why I'm doing this to your quick. guy right now. That quick? Yeah. We talked about it earlier today on. on the pre-event live. For every advantage, there is an equal and opposite disadvantage with size comes a trade-off in endurance and you do feel like Gennady Quickvenia is low in the gas tank trough look at that on the replay just nothing there no doubt we knew there was going to come a time there I think Devin Gennady probably should have kept pulling Devin regular trying to hook him trying to top roll him and resorting to that press in the middle or center in this way once that he has already set up listen you're talking okay, about the guy shoulders. on the right Both. possibly the smartest Take guy that's ever done it good, just like that. And you can even see now oh, your shoulders. Shoulders. Is set up Take, take here. Shoulders. trying to get his oh, wrist oh, underneath the devon devon recognize it are you kidding shoulder. me this is basic so math here in high school he's you just going to come check. forward the height of the wrist curl will be so amazing that there is absolutely no chance for Gennady unless Devin, I'm so what strong. I think, I'm now so Devin's going to start to give up thing. Like twice and as honestly, strong now. During that last transition, that was the best chance for Gennady to get back in that match in the hook. But listen, we talked about it earlier. It's just a matter of time before a guy like this, as cerebral and as confident as he is, as knowledgeable he is about the rules as experienced as he is about the fights he's been in it's going to be a tough task for anyone to really beat devin laird and which makes levon even more impressive with what had happened last year now it's good now it's good shoulder is good now you just say go you pulling me over it's the center is this way the center is this way center is okay now stop pulling me you're pulling me this way. The center is over here. You're pulling me across the table. First warning. Yeah, stop about, pulling me. About the shoulder, okay? Yeah, but I can't stop with the shoulder if you're pulling me over this First way. First warning about the shoulder. You get one warning now. Uh, it's a reference grip. Put yeah. that one down. He comes to the table like this. Put that one right down. there. Right oh, there. Okay. okay, one warning. Okay, again, straight your shoulder. Shoulder, shoulder. More shoulder straightening. Shoulder, Gennady. Open, Gennady. Open the fingers. Open. Wrist, wrist down. You can tell, you can clearly see from the hand position right there, he's only worried about getting the palm of his hand underneath the Devons. Listen, it's not going to happen, Neil. My man here is absolutely going to shut that down immediately. His shoulder is back, too. It's the same. His shoulder is back. My shoulder is the same. Just be careful, now you have one foul in the reference grip. Just say go, let's okay. start the match. Come on. Devin very aware that he doesn't want to allow any kind of opportunity. Okay. And then on his arm to recover. Wrist, here. Wrist. For the moment from Georgia to get any level of confidence whatsoever. Needs to make sure that that shoulder. confidence barometer is bottom down. Engaged. Real close, real tight. He's fucking loading up. 
How do you want me to, if you wait half an hour before they say go? You feel like Quickvini is just looking to drop it, get to the strap, and then sacrifice his wrist and go to the bank with just, the dead wrist flat press. He starts just it's really hard for me to not think that that referee can tell and see by the setup that Gennady is go. the one the forcing me. the wrist curl by pushing underneath. He's the exact but same. here's what's best. Now Devin just when needs to reverse to go, that little pronate you know that hand, little, lean it you back a little moving. bit, and what a great he's thing to know that once they say go, you don't have to take that hand anymore it's going to be given to you just don't make the mistake of moving that shoulder back and from what i can see with the posture devin laird went to that class and he's coming forward yeah and i got a feeling he's going to stop at nine o'clock neil and he's going to ask gennady to, to, to give up. big drive from gennady but not even close and we're going to the strap and to be perfectly honest there, Trav, you can see that Devon's not concerned by that. He feels like the arm's fatigued enough right now on Gennady to allow him to get what he wants. And if he can make it about arms, I think he has. I don't think Gennady can do anything there. Gennady has the threat with the press, but he's got to be in an unbelievably advantageous position and to be able to get Devon off that bone line. It's going to be tough. Interesting setup here. We saw early the height of Devon. Now, with the technique that Gennady has employed the last five starts, I don't think Devin needs to be as high in the hand. He needs to make sure that there's no connection that has Gennady's palm yes. under his wrist. I agree 100%. I mean, this situation now, we'll just listen for a moment there. Just take the shoulder. Take the shoulder. He can, he can go low and make this about arm trap. Check the hand positioning right now, Devin Laird. You're not going to see a cap thumb anymore. Now under, totally coming forward. Would love this thing to supinate. Would love to see Gennady palm up. Me too. Gennady going straight to the press here and does so. Oh, it was over. And, and it didn't matter. He jumped the start. It made no difference. And the blood's getting up in Gennady a little. Gennady getting ready to take an ass whipping up there, putting your hands on that man. That's Rambo right there, big guy. Big just say careful. go, just say go. Just say go. go. A good couple of times. Yes, you did. <laughs> just say go. go. Be ready. Just say go. But I will tell you this, if Revis, Levon, Bacho, and Gennady jump on Devin, he's in trouble, dude. I'm going to walk down, not run. To help. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Hardest job in the building, Christo de la Jacob. Look at the shoulder difference in these two people. I understand exactly why they're Massive drive, and there is a pin from Gavardi Kukvinia. Just so he shouts, and just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, wow. Come on, you all. Is he revved up, ladies Dance and gentlemen? Little, what about that? Listen, Goes man, over to so the Titan. Like Milan Saganashvili committed hard to the press. Let's see them on the replay. Watch him dive on this thing. There it is. Massive press. Nailed it to the pad. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in an arm wrestling match big time here in the main event. Absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculously impressive by Gennady right there. Amazing. Listen, this thing was all over, and now all of a sudden, there's a new energy from the Georgian. I actually think that Devon made a slight mistake in that setup in some respects, not to just step left, stay forward, step left, get him off the shoulder, and just shut that light down on the press. May have been overconfidence, but look at his Say position. Go, man. Look at the oh, position no, of Devon Larratt. Sandra! Dramatic. Oh, play. Say go! He's looking to. If you would stop complaining, Sullivan. we could start this match. 2-2 two, two guys, main event, East versus West, 7. Welcome to arm wrestling fans around the world. We hope you are entertained here. It, it's really going off in the main event. You want it to be a banger. You want it to be entertaining. Do not pull me down. I will go deeper. How happy is deeper. Mr. Ingen Terzi at this exact moment? don't need to pull my hand down. 2-2. Two to two. Near All after midnight here in Istanbul, you and your main event has lived up to the hype. The extraordinary gamesmanship of Devin Larratt and the relentless, uh, the re 
relentless pursuit for excellence from Gennady. Ladies and gentlemen, we couldn't ask for more from an arm wrestling community than what we are seeing. Cannot imagine the chaos that would ensue if Gennady Kvitvina of Georgia was to take this. You can see exactly what Devin Larry is planning now. He is attack, attack, attack. Wrist on wrist, riding the wrist join and going forward into the match, trying to shut down the light and completely refuse to allow the press. And the referee is definitely on tilt as well, Neil. You can see there's a lot of conversation at the table. Very dangerous. Two to two. This is the last match. There will be no ending in ties. Be very careful here, Devin Laird. At some point, the referee will need to take control of the match. Those fouls and warnings can come off pretty quick. They really can, and, and Gennady Kvitvini hasn't read any script where he yes. loses this go, match. Go, he go. Go. He's springing in his corner. Go, He's reinvigorated. Okay. Devin Larratt diving forward into this thing. He's going to test his frame hard. Oh, I thought it was going to go then. Every should have went. Aggression. Come on, too much oh refereeing. Yeah, that was it. it. We it. had a ready go, and it was going to be over. Say, fucking go. I must admit, I thought that was the goal was going to drop there. I was ready for that to go. I think both men were. You could see them loading and shaking with it. They wanted to, the goal to drop. Both men. It didn't come, and chaos ensues. One day for Christo. Christo Della Jacko. What is going on here? Is that just the... Is that just the shine off of Gennady's nose, or is he busted that thing wide open here? What am I Thank you, shoulder. That's just lighting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shoulder, nice shoulder. Yeah, he backed off a little bit, needs to keep on him. Needs to keep forward. I believe he's got, he believes he's got such a great grip, Neil. He's almost, he know he doesn't need to come back. Come on! I wouldn't go top there. I would literally stay on him. Sometimes if you pull a flop guy, it doesn't matter. Jerry Cataret is going to get underneath of you and into those straps regardless of how much you lean forward. I cannot believe this. We are about to get strapped up. We've seen the lane that Gennady is overpowering with side pressure yes. at Devin. This is unbelievable at this point in the match. In my opinion, we still could go either way, Neil Pickup. Here we go. And remarkably, listen to the crowd there. Opana being shouted there from the Georgian contingent and the men from Eastern Europe. Devon Larratt, you would have thought this was all about the extreme outside techniques, the kings, the pronator. Not at all. The route to victory here for Devon is arm on arm. He showed that early in the match. He connected, and that's where he was in control, outlasting the guy. Don't go back with the shoulder. Wants this thing to drop, and you do feel like it needs to go. Devon needs to keep his arm in the match. Don't let it land on top of you. Shoulder, Gennady. If that press lands, it's a world of trouble. And there we go. It turns in. It's on arm, test your frame, and Devon Larratt commits with a D, D, D. What? Super tight, super deep, and who will last the longest? Gennady Quintin, a big try, no more, no more, no yeah! Look at the aggression, the venom, the visceral nature. That exists no, keep it shut. Gotta be quick, Vigna. Keep it. Hey, hey, keep it. Damn. Hey. Gennady Quickvinia is committing hard. He said he wouldn't get tired. Wow. Are you watching, ladies and gentlemen? It is on. At East versus West 7. And I don't know if I'm seeing what I'm seeing, but Devin looks damaged and fatigued as well. Absolutely outstanding job from the Georgian. Look at the energy. Come on! He timed it beautifully, mate. This is a guy who, for many years, made a living out of hanging people up and then coming back with counters, and he did so there. And Devin Larratt blowing a little bit, breathing hard, and it is on the last round, the last match, the main event, East versus West 7, May 6, 23. It will be remembered.
for the day that these two men went to war for the very first time and wow has it delivered the most important symbol on the screen ladies and gentlemen take a look in the bottom left hand corner you see that little red dot next to devin larratt's hand let's talk about the matches thus far we have seen a lot of banter between the referee and devin this foul yes. here, yes. what could yeah. be the worst thing in the world for this battle not to end in a pin? But I can tell you now, 50-50 that this match, that we don't get a warning or two called before the go, and that each opponent, especially Devin, is able to keep his elbow planted on that pad in order to get the win. Get up, now, shoulders straight. You will wow. shoulder. I will. Vigna. Shoulder straight. Shoulder straight. Okay. This, you this can feel okay, the intensity. It's come up the stairwell and is hitting us in the commentary room, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. East versus West Seven. Main event. Down come the hands on the way. And Devin Lara loses here at East versus West Seven in the most dramatic of fashions. This is unbelievable. Wow, what an end. What a climax, Travis. Don't worry about anything when it comes to how that match developed. Just know that the man on the right, Gennady, came to Turkey on a mission, and he has completely surprised the arm wrestling world, not with winning, but just the route in which it took. What an amazing event. What an amazing main event. Check out the these instant replays, Neil. Take it over. Wow, I am speechless. I can honestly tell you, Travis, you didn't see that coming. It looked like this thing was over early. We saw both men represent themselves, their heart, their desire, their spirit throughout an outstanding main event. It started so well for Devon Larratt. He connected arm on arm in the first couple of rounds and looked like he could dominate there. But time and time again, from the start of the match to the very last breath of the match, it was Gennady Kvitvina who was equal to the mammoth task in front of him. Let's get down there to Ray Lipinge and hear from the new champ. No problem, join back in the booth. We'll let Neil get out of there. Let's get some insight from big Derek Smith. Derek, we're going over the replays right now. There were different times in that match where you had to think that Devin Laird was in control. Yeah, the, the, the shoulder commitment was definitely uh, the, the telling factor in this entire thing. Uh, was, was Gennady able to keep Devin from Kings moving? He couldn't get into his Kings move because the elbow would go off the pad. So Gennady being so aggressive with that shoulder and then Devin trying to counter it with his shoulder tended to be the, the theme of the match, right? No doubt. And when we seen match three, we saw them wrist to wrist. Gennady jump in there and you see Gennady shake his hand after that loss. Up here, we're thinking it's all over, but the truth is, it was just beginning. The energy that Gennady remained during that match, especially after round three, this thing gone for, I think, about 40 minutes. Every indication was that this was exactly what Devin Laird would need to finish. The only person is, everyone wrote Gennady off, but Derek, he did not write back, young man. Now, Gennady is, is a warrior like we, like we all thought. And it going deep inside was not the place anybody thought this, this match was going to end, but it was a grinder inside. Gennady being able to get his shoulder behind it and press down really was the, the overpowering moment. Right here, Devin had to succumb to Gennady's inside pressure. And man, it's a crazy match. It lived up to all the hype and everything we thought this match could be. You think about Gennady coming into this match, all the media, all the press, everything about Devin Laird. But now it's about the Georgian giant. We are here with the winner of the main event, Gennady Grigrinia.
What an amazing main event, great match, went back and forth. I want to hear Gennady's thoughts about the match, how he felt in the match. Just walk us through it. So he said that he knows Devon so many years, he has done research and he was expecting that Devon had done likewise about Gennady. And he said that uh, obviously because of that, he expected the toughest war in his uh, entire history. And then he said that nobody can exhaust me unless they are levels above strong. He saying that he promised that show up uh, to show uh, endurance level, if not equal, at least more. So he said that he showed you guys that his endurance is toughest, and he said that the, uh, the one, the nine that I have on the cards in the endurance point, he wants it to have uh, 10 from now on. And uh, he showed uh, how endurable he is against them. Oh, the charge stats will change for sure. Yeah. Gennady, uh, you. On the first round, you were very calm. You didn't fight a lot of games with, with Devon. But then you started fighting in the setup, fighting for engagement. Was that the plan, or did you change it while the match was happening? Obviously, he was, uh, like you said, a bit more calm from the beginning and respectful, but he noticed some uh, steps from opposition side, in this case from Devon's side, that uh, he also had to do likewise and get more engaged, more anger, and uh, eventually uh, Devon got what he deserved. Well, it's always a pleasure and excitement to see Gennady Paul. One more time, Gennady Kukunia. So thank you all guys who uh, was applauding for him, who was supporting him, who was encouraging him during this entire journey against Devon Larat. And he hopes and he wishes to uh, make everybody else proud of him. We Ladies and gentlemen, what about that for a main event? Unbelievable main event and congratulations there to Gennady Quickvinia. Incredible battle overcoming Devon Larratt. It ends our broadcast here, live for you guys that are in the hotel, but it's not over for the commentary team. They're gonna go back upstairs and take everyone through a little bit of a recap of tonight's action. For the people here within the Green Park Hotel and Resort, I wanna say a massive thank you on behalf of everyone here at East versus West. Thanks for your attendance, for your interest, and an enormous thank you to this man, Engin Terzi, for once again bringing together the very best in the world. Engin, a phenomenal card. And he deserves all the credit in the world. A wonderful display of arm wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go back to our commentary team. For myself and the guys downstairs, thank you very much and we'll see you again.